Hi everyone, welcome to Nightstar. So, this is one of these third-person VR games where you control a spaceship by moving your motion controller around in your room. I love this control scheme because it basically feels like you're holding a little toy ship in your hand and it's actually shooting out lasers and blowing things up. And you're in space, which is always a good addition to uh, any video game, especially in VR. Alright, I got my little wing here from collecting those little blue power-ups. Oh yeah, we're tearing it up. Oh, uh-oh. Get after these guys. <laughs> Some pirates going after this trade ship. All right, we saved his ass, so he can go deliver some cargo. Uh-oh, taking damage. All right, so a couple people recommended this game to me. I thought I would check it out because I always love playing games with this sort of control scheme. There's been quite a few at this point, with the most famous one being Zortex from The Lab by Valve. And then my favorite one so far has been Hollow Impact, which is kind of similar to this, except the environment is a little more, like, epic, with you flying around crazy starships and stuff. But this is only level one, so uh, we'll see. We'll see how this game stacks up at the end of the day. Oh, uh-oh, it's getting kind of intense now. Oh, my wingmates are dead. I'm all alone. Frickin' missile launcher. Ooh, missiles of my own, please? Ooh, machine gun, but that's okay. Aw, oh, yeah. Huh. <laughs> I love that this, like, gameplay style translates over to VR so well. Okay. Huh. And the, one of the things that might not translate over to the video is uh, just how cool the 3D effect is in this sort of game. Like, these ships probably don't look too imposing. Tiny little baby ships coming at me. And they're really not, but... When you have a little ship flying into your face, and it's like, oh my god, there's a little ship flying straight into my face and shooting lasers at my eyeballs. It's a pretty cool effect. Okay, I need to start taking this seriously, though, because it's actually starting to get kind of intense. Shooting cluster bombs at me. Oh god, okay, okay. See, the good thing is you don't have to kill everything. If it just passes you, it's not going to loop back and attack you from behind. These guys have honor, after all. So I'm just focusing on these little missile launchers because they move super slow and they do a ton of damage. Oh, I missed that power up. I missed the, the dang it, dang it. Uh, let me just take a good look at, oh, that's cool. That is really cool, actually. All right, level two, two is way cooler than level one. So let's just skip right back to level two. Okay, I'm back. And this time I brought a couple friends. We're gonna take this little moon back. Oh god, stay alive, buddy. Oh no. Okay, level two is definitely a lot more intense than level one. Ooh, I gotta get this power up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, let's do this again. All right, here we go. Back to level two. Third time's the charm. I got a couple tricks up my sleeve now. For example, I know how to use the shield. <laughs> because I accidentally pressed the grip button and realized that my ship has a shield. So, I'm confident now that I will destroy level two. Ooh, ooh. Yes. Ooh yeah, that's nice. I love having <laughs> my full little squadron of ships. Oh, oh! Damn. Alright, I took one damage. So you can take three hits before you die. And you can actually power up your HP. I realized that these pink circle power-ups are actually a bunch of different power-ups based on the symbol inside the pink circle. So that is the HP power-up. No! No, I was so close. Alright. I gotta do this. Okay, this is it. Level two going down. All right, I just gotta utilize my shield properly. 
keep my wingmates alive. Because they really help out. Oh! Speaking of which... Oh, now there's a big-ass ship shooting at me. Damn. Mm, thank you, shield. It's not that those missiles hit me. Okay. Oh, getting farther. Ooh, yeah. Oh, this is pretty fun with the crazy uh, ships that are spawning now. Take him out. Those things were insane. Okay. Woo! Uh-oh. Now I got these, like, missiles launching themselves at me. Like, massive missiles. Okay. Uh-oh. What's this? Some sort of Death Star level thing. And I got these guys. Man. Leave me alone. Okay. Oh, guess I don't have to kill this thing. Oh, I guess it came with me. I guess I do have to kill it. Shit. This is cool, though. A little boss fight. The missile launcher was way too close. Ooh. Fancy asteroids. Okay, ooh, I have one hit point left. That's not good. That's not a hit point upgrade, so I'm not going to bother with it. I don't give a crap about a transport ship right now. Just a couple of missiles your, or a couple lasers your way, but that's it. I just want this thing to die. Okay. Oh, damn. So close. I gotta be moving my uh, ship around a little bit more. This thing is a tough cookie. I'd like a uh, upgrade, like a health upgrade or something here. If any of you ships could be so kind. Nope, that's not health. I'll take it though, whatever it is. Uh, I'm sad that we le left the cool environment from level two. I like those planets in the distance though. Oh no! No! At least now I can look around and enjoy the environment. <sighs> Level 3 is pretty cool. New logo high score. Good for me. Alright. Let's try this again. Alright, back to level 3. Man, this game is really fun once it gets intense. You really have to move around a lot, utilize room scale, just so you can use all the space that you have to dodge all the crazy lasers coming at you. I really need some wingmates right now. Oh god, I hate these guys. Sorry, transporter ship. I kind of got my own ship right now. Alright, let's give them a little help. Oh god, nope, 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 too many guys. Come on. Help him out! No! I couldn't do it. Can't save them all! Woo! Give me all that. Oh yeah. Oop, there's the big boss man. If that actually is a boss. Oh, I'm launching bombs! See, my ship is very highly upgraded now. Oh no! I still died though. Ah, uh, that sucks. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, I'm gonna give this one more try, starting from level one. Uh, just so I can talk about some of the stuff I've learned from dying repeatedly and having to play through the game again. Because this is one of those games where when you die, you go back to the beginning, and you have to play through all of it again. However, it's not the type of game where you can just learn the spawn pattern and know where everything's gonna be. Uh, this, that sort of stuff is randomized, so 
the enemies coming at you, where they're coming from, is slightly randomized. I mean, granted, it's all pretty pretty simple and pretty much the same, but uh, once it's not something that you can just memorize. And the other mechanic I didn't know about earlier is that the difficulty scales with the amount of upgrades that you have for your ship. Save him! There we go. Oh! So, the more upgrades you get, the uh, harder the game is going to be. More enemies, crazier enemies, but you'll have a better ship, so it'll be easier to handle them. Which is pretty cool. So, you can get a very upgraded ship, but it's not like you just blow through everything. It just makes everything super hard. Haven't actually tried to see what happens if I just don't pick up upgrades. Because I want to see all the crazy shi ships filling up my screen. Filling up my living room. That's the cool thing about these games. Alright. Oh. Let me get another wingmate in there. Alright, on to level 2. And I'm in good position. I think I got full HP here. Oh, no. I have 2 out of 3. Oh, wingmate down. Ooh, but there's a replacement. Okay. Take out the missile launcher. All my wingmates are dead. I have one HP left. Got that sucker. Gotta keep my eyes peeled for an HP power up. Or another wingmate. See, once you start using the shield more, uh, you're much more survivable. Oh, there's an HP power-up. Okay, go get it! It's also a great way to pick up power-ups. And now, I have two HP. Aw, oh, goddammit! Well, at least I'm still alive. But I only have one HP now. And see, sometimes at this point, this level is filled with like capital ships and crazy twirling railgun spitters. But I guess I'm not powered up enough, so it's actually kind of easy right now. So yeah, beat the whole level without any capital ships or anything spawning. And on to level three. Oh, here we go. Now it's getting a little tougher. Okay. The capital ships give nice power-ups, though. And my ship is pretty beefy at this point. The guns are doing work. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let's see if I can help this guy out. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. The, the spinning railgun shooters, I hate them. I hate them so much! Woo. And... okay, okay, that's... Well, the transport is safe! I can die happy knowing they saved a couple lives! But I'm gonna fight until I'm dead. That's right. Oh! I gotta heal. I see a power up. Oh no! Come on. Yeah! Not sure if machine gun is really what I need right now, but it'll do. It'll have to do. Oh god, oh god. Shit! Didn't even manage to kill that guy. Man, those things are beefy. Alright, and there's the boss man. Ooh, ooh. That was the health. Okay, I have two health. Okay. See, he locked onto my hyperspace signature and followed me. This is actually kind of trippy. Where are we? This is like... It looks like underwater.
Okay. Uh oh. Just launched a space mist, obscuring everything. This is interesting because it's different than what I remember last time I was fighting this guy and I tried to warp. Maybe he just he just pulled me out of uh, my warp at a random location in the galaxy. <laughs> Uh, well, that was my new local high score, so I'm glad I got that far. But yeah, this, this level's not as visually interesting as the other ones. But anyways, that was, um, what's this game called? <laughs> Wait, we'll see it right here. That was Nightstar, Starfighter Nightstar. Now, I said earlier that my favorite one of, or type of this game is Hollow Impact. I think that's still the case, but I do think this is a very good um, version of this type of game. I like the whole 80s retro arcade throwback uh, aesthetic and sounds and everything and just the power-up system. Um, and the environment, are, the environments are cool, but Pretty much any space environment is going to be cool. So, uh, that's just some freebie points right there. And they're not as cool as the environments in Hollow Impact. And also the boss fights. I feel like Hollow Impact had some really cool boss fights that actually did feel like a crazy arcade boss fight. Whereas in this one, that boss was just like a weird ball that I shot at. Ew. I just died in level 1. So embarrassing. But I saved the guy again, so... Go off, go deliver that cargo, I'll be dead. So thank you for watching this video. Check out my channel if you want to see more virtual reality gameplay content. Oh, the guy didn't even, even get a jump. And have a great day, and goodbye. He's turned his rotating wheels of death into actual robot arms. Uh oh, and they shoot lasers at you. <laughs> He's called the um Roboctopus. Oh god, no okay. Okay, I'm good. Oh god, oh god, no! <laughs> okay.